2024 has been a volatile year for crypto, and we've seen a lot of price appreciation. The overall crypto market has surpassed a $2 trillion mark cap, and it's been closing in on a $2.5 trillion mark cap. We've seen Bitcoin, Ethereum, and countless blue chip cryptos reach multi-year highs, but we've still yet to see meme coins really take over. And so today's video, I want to talk about a meme coin I did invest in during pre-sale. It's still in its pre-sale, and it's called Poodle Inu. The reason why I invested in this project is for a couple of main reasons. Not only does it have a strong community, not only does it uh, piggyback off of some of the top memes in previous bull markets, but also if you look at its audit and, and aspects of its token, a lot of things check out there as well. So right now it's still in its pre-sale. You could see that one P-O-O-D-L token is equal to 2.000287. You could get it with ETH, USDT, card. You could even do it with BNB. You could do it like we've talked about with other uh investments in the past where we've gotten to pre-sale. It's pretty simple. You just connect a, a MetaMask wallet or other wallets. I always use my MetaMask wallet. When you're looking at this though, the thing that's pretty unique about um, Poodle Inu is that right now, the total amount of Poodle Inu staked is 478 million uh, P-O-O-D-L tokens staked. That's something unheard of for a pre-sale project to see 67% of all P-O-O-D-L being staked. I think it's because it has that extremely high uh, uh, rewards, that 432% reward where they've already given out, you know, over 1 million P-O-O-D-L tokens. But this is something that's really unheard of for a new project that is still in its pre-sale to see that larger percentage staked and seeing these types of rewards. So if you're looking at Poodle Inu, there's a few things that stand out. It is right now, if you look at their white paper, you can see that not only have they raised around $300,000 or so, but if you look at their white paper, you can see that they're trying to become the next meme coin in this bull market because they said you know dogecoin and shiba inu all crafted their own path to becoming a top meme coin in the last bull market so they don't think it's going to be like uh uh, uh, like another Shiba Inu or another Dogecoin or a project that's using the exact same character. So that's why they went with a new and unique dog meme. They used another type of dog and that's where they are coming from. So if you look at their uh, introduction, you could say, close your eyes, picture this, the year is 2025, crypto is flying, dog coins are pumping, and a fluffy streetwise mutt named Poodle Inu is leading the pack. They said ultimately they are at the cusp of a major shift of power in the meme coin space, and you're here early enough to witness the revolution. Ultimately, they're saying, look, you know, like in previous bull markets, we've seen Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, we've seen the same dog do extremely well, but they think it's going to be a new version in this bull market where we're going to see another dog really take over. And like I said, a lot of these products are always based off of community, community involvement, and that's why I did invest into this project. So you can see in phase one of their roadmap, phase one, they say Poodle Unleashed. It's going to say that Poodle Eno kicks off the crypto, uh, like kips, kicks off its initial launch with... Um, having its pre-sale. They're having their P-O-O-D-L token pre-sale, and the price has been increasing over the last few rounds. As we've already seen, it raised quite a bit of money. The thing that's pretty unique about this is that during phase one, when they're first starting their pre-sale, is that you can already start staking the tokens. Not really many pre-sale projects let you do that. That's something that's pretty unique to them. Then to phase two, you can see it says housebroken and top dog. They say, who let the dogs out? You did uh, let the dogs loose in the backyard and watch them shed losses and poop profits. They said, ultimately, that this is the stage where you're starting to see listings, see the token really start to take off, and see staking rewards as staking rewards continue to grow more and more. That brings you into phase three, where the community continues to grow. They have an ultimate goal of long-term being a $1 billion market cap, and they're trying to become the top meme coin in the crypto space. When we're looking at tokenomics, a few things stand out here. Like many of the meme coins, they have... Um, pretty unique tokenomics. They have around $6.9 billion of tokens that are going to be released onto the Ethereum blockchain. 50% is going to be the initial uh, offering, which is crucial. That's during this pre-sale stage. That's something that I really like to see because it shows it's a really a community-driven project. Next thing is going to be 30% to staking. That's something that's also really important because it gives rewards back to its holders, ensuring that the community wants to be involved long-term and can ensure that the community continues to grow and thrive because if you don't have a lot of staking rewards for new projects that are really based off of staking, 
people are not going to want to be involved in that project. So that's really ideal seeing that 30% there, 10% for DEXs, and 10% for marketing. So really, if you look at all aspects of their tokenomics, it's all geared around them being a project that is strongly driven by its community with high staking rewards, with um, a lot of tokens being available during its pre-sale. It's not making it where only a few people are going to own it and be able to dump all these tokens on holders. It shows that it's really a community-driven project. So if you go ahead and look at all the different aspects of its ecosystem um, and of the project, you can see that it is in its pre-sale. It's going to be a high-risk, high-reward project. But like with meme coins in any bull market, in any market cycle, you got to know that going in. They are high-risk, high-reward. And I personally like to look for ones with strong community strong staking, um, and some unique aspects to them. So with Poodle Inu, I found a lot of those things there, which is why I did invest uh, a little bit of money into its pre-sale.